This is the part 2 of OSI layer attack and preventative controls. To recap, OSI model stands for Open System Interconnection and is a conceptual model created by the International Organization for Standardization, which enables diverse communication systems to communicate using standard protocols. We discussed how there were seven layers in this model and an attack is performed by a bad actor in an effort to break the system. In this video, I'll brief on protocol used in data link and network layers and explain to attack on each layer with countermeasures to prevent that type of attack. Now the PDU at H layer of OSI model has its own significance. Like in data link layer, follows protocols like ARP, MAC, DHCP, frame relay, and network layer follows protocols like IPsec, IP, and ICMP. We shall discuss one protocol from data link layer and how it's attacked and protocol to prevent it. No ARP or Address Resolution Protocol is a protocol used to map an IP address to a physical machine address or media access control as recognizable in local Ethernet. A common attack in this layer is ARP spoofing. ARP spoofing attacks the ARP cache poisoning can occur because ARP allows gracious reply from a host even if the ARP request was not received. An ARP request sent from a host often gets replied with legitimate ARP reply. However, an attacker can send in a subsequent gracious ARP replies that will override legitimate replies and create a bogus entry in requester's ARP table. This is also considered a man-in-the-middle attack. However, there are some controls to prevent ARP spoofing attacks. You can put in controls to detect fake ARP messages and maintain consistency of ARP table. Alert the system administrator via email if any change happens. Use strong authentication rather than source IP address and use VPN protocols like SSH, SSL, or IPsec can greatly improve security by achieving authentication, integrity, and confidentiality. Attack on Layer 2 DHCP Spoofing now, DHCP spoofing is an attack where the attacker listens to DHCP requests from hosts on the network and answers them with a fake DHCP response before the authorized DHCP response comes to the host. DHCP snooping, a countermeasure that can prevent such attacks. DHCP snooping is a switch feature. So switches can be configured to determine which switch ports can respond to DHCP requests. Switch ports then are identified as trusted or untrusted ports. Now only the ports that connect to an authorized DHCP servers are configured as trusted and allowed to send all type of DHCP messages. So all other ports on the switch are untrusted and can send only DHCP requests. So if a DHCP response is even seen on an untrusted port, the port is then simply shut down. Attack on network layer. A very common type of attack in this layer is IP spoofing. Attacker creates IP packets with a forged source IP address to conceal the identity of the sender or to impersonate another computing system. The prime goal of an IP spoofing attack is to establish a connection that allows the attacker to gain root access to the host and to create a backdoor entry path to the target system. You can put in controls to defend against IP spoofing like avoid applications that use IP addresses for authentication purposes, implement IP spoofing or packet filters at your border routers and firewalls, disable source routing, avoid extending trust relations among different domains. Attack on layer 3, teardrop attack. 
Teardrop attack is a type of denial of service or target attack to compromise the availability of the target system. It consists of an attacker sending a series of fragmented IP datagram pairs to a target system and that causes the system to crash. For example, a correct packet will have offset after the first fragment of data and second fragment begins after the offset. This is how the correct packet should look like. However, in an incorrect packet, the second packet here is inserted into the first one. This confuses this memory of the system allocation and thus causes denial of service. Remediation measure for teardrop attack. Although many tools for teardrop attack are available such as Tiger, Singdrop, Boink, Nesty, Teardrop 2, and New Year. However, most modern operating systems can contain fixes for teardrop denial of service attack and its variants. Also, just a simple reboot is preferred remedy for after this happens. There are other type of attack in this layer like smurfing and DDoS attack. Please check out this video in the course which have explained the attack in detail. Also, do let me know in the comment if there are any specific type of protocols you would want me to cover from each layer with countermeasures to put in controls and to prevent those type of attack. Also, if you're interested, please feel free to get in touch via email address if you'd be interested in taking any cybersecurity consultations. That ends the part 2 series of OSI layer attacks and preventative controls. I'll see you in the part 3 of this video series and hope you have a great day ahead. Bye now.